Jessica Tarlov, the lone liberal against four MAGA extremists on Fox News The Five, had yet another chance to expose their blatant hypocrisy, this time over Dwayne Johnson not wanting to endorse someone this year, though he's not saying he's not going to vote for anyone, them trying to turn it into a story about, oh look, everyone who voted for Biden is no longer happy with their choice, when he clearly just said it caused division, he's looking at it like a businessman and doesn't want to lose sales, pretty much he's saying, I have Trump supporter fans and I didn't like getting the backlash, which I have to say pretty weak. So first let's play the clip of Rock saying that. The endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. I'm not going to do that because what I realized what that caused back then was something that tears me up in my guts back then and now, which is division. I wouldn't do that because my goal is to bring our country together. It just makes me wonder if The Rock is gonna look at his young, impressionable female fans and tell them if Trump gets into office and they happen to become victims and have to carry it a term, there was nothing he could do with his massive influence to prevent that from happening. But despite The Rock being unwilling to stand for anything meaningful, Fox tried to parlay this into some sort of a, oh, but we're a cult. See, they only say that because they're mad because MAGA supporters aren't leaving, which first just look at the state of the Republican Party with people resigning, retiring lifelong careers, let alone denouncing the right. But secondly, Jessica also had a pretty funny response to this. Let me ask you this. You know a lot of Trump supporters. Do we need to be deprogrammed? Be careful. That's why I come to work every day. <laughs> and she's joking, but still completely right. But truly, yes, Trump supporters do need to be deprogrammed. And it's largely because of programs like Fox, just as much as Trump himself, feeding them nothing but misinformation and lies, attacking sources, truth, validity, facts, empirical data at their, at their roots with no merit, just to not have to accept objective right and wrong, and to stray away from anything that makes them feel uncomfortable or have to question their positions. These are learned maladaptive behaviors that have to be unlearned and retaught with appropriate behaviors, like fact checking, looking at the credibility of a source before you call it fake just because it disagrees with you, you know? Critical thinking skills, anything. You said in your lead-in question to Jesse, you know, it's just bad news for Biden. The jobs report today was a monster. I wait, mean, every- Wait three months. Fine, when, it gets, oh, when it gets revised yeah. yes. down. Also, the part-time jobs, and there's <laughs> data looking at this, that's a trend that's been happening. It obviously was accelerated through COVID with people opting into that. You still don't add 15 million jobs, and even taking away what we got back from COVID, is adding jobs at a faster clip than Trump, to go up to 303,000 when it was supposed to be 214. There was really interesting data that came out about people's perspective on the national economy versus their state economies. And they looked at all of the swing states and people thought the national economy was terrible. It was like at a negative 30 and individual economies in Wisconsin, in Georgia, Pennsylvania, Arizona, all the states that you need to win. And this is very well put. They're trying to make news out of The Rock, someone who's a non-political figure, a businessman who's just saying, I'm not gonna vocalize who I would endorse again. I lost business because of that. Still might vote for Biden. He's just not gonna talk about it. But they're doing all this to distract from job numbers going through the roof, growing economic sentiment, and continuous Biden wins while the Trump campaign continues to flounder. If you enjoyed that video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.